What's up you guys? This is Steven and I'm back with another photo analysis. This time I'll be analyzing the cover of Utara Hikaru's single Traveling. And this photo analysis was requested by YouTube user Raven Potter. So thanks a lot for the request, Raven. And here we go with this photo analysis. Alright, so when I first looked at this photo, what caught my attention was Hikaru's facial expression. Um, it's it's interesting. Um, you know, her mouth is like wide open, and she's. I'm guessing she's going for like a shocked look, like she's really surprised. And I'm guessing that she has seen something that is really surprising or really shocking. Um, but um, you know, the facial expression. Hmm. I don't know. I think the eyes could have been a bit more shocked if that was, you know, if she was going for shock or surprise, I think her eyes could have been, you know, a bit more wide to give the impression of her being surprised. As well, her mouth could have been a little wider. But then again, I guess if it was too wide, then it might come off as a bit like a blow up doll. So I'm pretty sure she doesn't want to, you know, go for that. So I think that I would let the way that her mouth looks slide. But instead of, you know, her eyes looking the way they look now, just, you know, make them a little wider if she can, you know. Um, the background and the coloration of the, of the background is really interesting. It's like kind of like a pink, red, orange it has a lot of coloration there and as well it looks like you know it's sort of like um like it's kind of like i don't know um kind of like tiles you know like it's kind of like piece together like oh here's the piece here and this piece is red and this piece is pink and this like this um piece right here is orange like kind of like that i think you know the coloration and the background and the texture it looks it looks really interesting in this photo um let's see like the way that utara hikaru's body looks it looks sort of like she's a crash test dummy you know it looks like she is a crash test dummy and at this point she like the car has crashed and she has um you know flown out of the um vehicle like face first through the windshield hey it kind of does look like that you know i guess that does kind of factor into you know the traveling you know she was traveling and she got into a car accident and you know she flew out in the car um i don't really like her nails are done um i don't know that's sort of like oh you do your nails but you know this whole outfit doesn't really look like it's anything else like it's anything special but you do your nails oh that's interesting and it looks like she's listening to some music here so I'm guessing you know she was like listening to her music while she was traveling somewhere you know I don't know where she was going to and uh, as well her hair you can't really see much of her hair and that's probably a good thing but in this case, I think her hair works with the theme. It seems like she's in motion, you know? So, it works there. And what else I can say about this photo, really? The theme of this photo is traveling. I assume that's the theme, since that's the title of the single. And this photo is the cover of the single, Traveling. And... You know, the question is, did she, you know, fulfill the brief and interpret the theme traveling? And I don't, like, ultimately, I'll say that she did. At least she's in motion. I'll give her that. It looks like she's in motion, you know. Traveling, eh, the theme could have been interpreted better, but... I'll let her slide and say that she did interpret the theme because she does look like she's in motion. 
perhaps she's flying somewhere. Maybe not necessarily outside, like out of a vehicle, but maybe she's flying. I don't know where. I don't know by what means. But, you know, she looks like she's in motion anyway, and she's flying. But, um, yeah, this does look kind of like a, she kind of like as a crash test dummy who got into a car accident. And I guess her windshield was red. So maybe with blood, but she's a crash test dummy, so she wouldn't be bleeding. Unless they wanted to make the dummy lifelike, which I doubt, you know. Um, and it's all for research purposes for the vehicle, not to, you know, you know, stage a movie or a television show. Um, but I find that her, like her arm and her upper torso look very interesting. It has something on it. Like, some plastic thing on it. Yeah, like, I don't know what she was going for with that. I think she probably, knowing he, knowing what I know about Utara Hikaru, and I don't know a lot, but I know a little, she does seem to be kind of like outside the box or something. So, maybe she was going for a crash test dummy look here. Well, if she did, um, she succeeded. I, Like, okay, I get it. And I just... The listening to music thing is kind of odd because she would be in the car. Wouldn't she be listening to the car music? But who knows? That's up for interpretation. Um, let's see. Her eyes. Again with the eyes. I'll go back to the eyes for a quick second. Um, hmm. Ultimately, I think she slides with the eyes as far as her... Um, her gaze is concerned and where she, her eyes are focused but for a little bit it looks like her if you look really closely it looks like her eyes are slightly unfocused like they're not on the same they're not focused on the same thing but to be fair you would have to look at the photo a lot to um, see that so I let her slide with that because you know majority of the people aren't going to be like you know analyzing this photo with a microscope or a magnifying glass they're just going to look at it and say okay I see what she's like oh she's looking at something you know and let's see I think that's pretty much all I have to say about this photo you know it's very like kind of like surreal abstract ish you know it's a uh, it's um visually really interesting um you know I think traveling was interpreted, you know, the theme of traveling was interpreted overall, uh, but I think it probably could have been interpreted a little better. But then again, you know, Utada Hikaru probably was going for something a bit more, you know, outside of the box, you know, because when you see this photo, it's probably going to be a bit more signature to Utada Hikaru versus if she was like just you know, on a motorcycle or, you know, traveling on a bus or a car or something. So, I think ultimately, you know, she interpreted the theme, so good for her. As far as the photo is concerned, it's an okay photo. Um, you have to really be able to appreciate the surreal abstract quality with it. And I do appreciate that. Um, however, for some reason... I don't know the way her arm and upper torso look that plastic thing is like eh that's kinda holding me back from totally liking the photo as well as her facial expression could have been a little better a little bit better in my opinion but overall it's decent you know I think it's very original you know I'll give her that. And you know, it's original and it has its own quality. So I'll give Miss Utarai that. But that's pretty much all I have to say about this photo for the time being. Thanks a lot for watching. Feel free to comment. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to give me a thumbs up. And again, thanks to Raven Potter for um, making this photo analysis request. But that's all I got for now. So adios and goodbye for now.